Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing the characteristics required for aromaticity, especially planarity of the molecule. But before watching this video, I will strongly recommend you to watch my previous videos on this series, link of the playlist is given in the description. So let's discuss the characteristics required for aromaticity. As I have already discussed what is aromaticity and what are the requirements of this aromaticity. So in my previous video, I have already discussed the presence of high resonance energy. Now in this video, I will be discussing the details about this planarity of the molecule. And then in upcoming videos, I will be discussing about presence of aromatic sex state or aromatic loop, then presence of delocalization of pi electron. And then we will be discussing about presence of 4n plus pi electron or Huckel rule. Now let's discuss the planarity of the molecule. So coming to the first point, the resonance involves only those atoms or pi electrons which are coplanar means resonance will take place in those molecules or compounds where pi electrons will be present in a similar plane in a single plane. If pi electrons will be present in different planes, then aromaticity will not be possible. So here if we are taking the example of sp3 hybridization means what will be the effect of sp3 hybridization on this planarity of the molecule so if we are talking about this sp3 hybridization then its structure is tetrahedral 3d so as you might be knowing that i have already discussed the details about this hybridization in complete 3d animation in my previous video and the video name was hybridization in educational film link of that video is given in the description also but for better understanding let's watch the clip of this sp3 hybridization from that video now coming to the details about sp3 hybridization so as its name suggests it contains one s orbital and three p orbitals all px py and pz orbitals will be involved so it will show 25 percent characteristic of s orbital and 75 percent characteristic of p orbital now coming to the 3d representation of this sp3 hybridization so here you can see that we are having one s orbital and a 3p orbital so all these orbitals will be mixed together and after that they will form four hybrid orbitals which will be visible like this here i have represented these hybrid orbitals in green color electronic geometry along the central atom or orientation of the hybrid orbitals will be tetrahedral and here angle between all these four hybrid orbitals will be 109 degree 28 minute sometime it is also considered as 109.5 degree so i hope now you are having clear idea about sp3 hybridization as you have seen in sp3 hybridization structure will be tetrahedral means this structure will be 3d and whenever structure will be in 3d then there will be no possibility of resonance because pi electrons will not be present in a single plane now coming to the second hybridization that is sp2 hybridization so in sp2 hybridization hybrid orbitals will be looking like this and it will be trigonal plane that is a 2d structure means flat structure so let's see the clip of this sp2 hybridization for better understanding now coming to the details about sp2 hybridization so as its name suggests it contains one s orbital and a 2p orbital this p orbital may be px py it may be py pz or it may be px pz here i have taken <coughs> px and py for hybridization so in this sp2 hybridization one hybrid orbital will show the characteristic of s orbital as well as p orbital and the percentage will be 33.3 percent for s orbital and 66.7 percent characteristic of p orbital so here if we are talking about electronic geometry of central atom or orientation of the hybrid orbitals then it will be trigonal planar and the angle between these three hybrid orbitals which are represented here in green color 
will be 120 degree so i hope now you are having clear idea about sp2 hybridization and as you have seen in sp2 hybridization trigonal plane will be present and here all these three hybrid orbitals will be present in a single plane so in sp2 hybridization here pi electrons will be present in a single plane and that is why resonance will possible in the case of sp2 hybridization now let's see the next point so according to this point another condition for the presence of aromaticity is the planarity of the molecule so this is the second characteristic means planarity of the molecule is required for aromaticity means all the pi electrons will be present in a single plane in that condition aromaticity will be possible now let's understand this planarity of the molecule by using the examples so this is the structure of benzene so all carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized because in all carbon atoms two two single bonds are present along with other two carbon atoms one double bond will be present and one hydrogen atom will be present so total four bonds will be present means three are sigma bond and one is pi bond in that condition it will be sp2 hybridization similarly if we are taking the structure of this benzene means here double bond is present in different position here in remaining positions a double bond will be present so again all these carbon atoms will be sp2 hybridized and if we are talking about this resonance structure so here also all carbon atoms will be present in the form of sp2 hybridization so all carbon of benzene are sp2 hybridized so structure of benzene is planar means whenever sp2 hybridization will be present that structure will be planar as we have seen the details about sp2 hybridization now let's take another example so according to this example you can see that here one double bond is present between two carbon atoms and the remaining are only single bonds so here in this two carbon atoms sp2 hybridization will be present and the remaining four carbon atoms will be sp3 hybridized so according to this structure these two carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized and they may be present in a single plane but remaining four carbon atoms are sp3 hybridized so they will not be present in a single plane because that is a 3d structure so here in this structure aromaticity will not be possible because it is not following the rule of planarity of the molecule now let's take another example so here you can see that four carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized because two double bonds are present and these remaining two carbon atoms are sp3 hybridized so again according to this structure there is possibility of that these four carbon atoms may be present in a single plane but these two carbon atoms will not be present in a single plane because their structure will be three dimensional so this structure will also not so aromaticity so ultimately our conclusion is that planarity of the molecule is required for aromaticity so i hope you got the concept of this planarity of the molecule now in my next video i'll be discussing the details about aromatic sex state or aromatic loop and its role in the aromaticity thank you so much